Welcome back. We've been talking about all the July 4th events that are coming up this weekend and next week. And of course, the heat decided it wanted to join the party too. Oh yeah, we're talking about triple digits on the seven day already. Make sure you stay hydrated out there in Central Georgia because we are not seeing too many clouds out there now. Taking a live look in downtown Macon, you can see just that crystal clear and blue. But that means more sunlight. The sun warms the ground and then warms the air around us, which is why we are already sitting at 88 degrees. And that dew point is actually helping us out a little bit. Notice the relative humidity is at 45%. That dew point, though, that's the main thing, 64 degrees. And you might say, oh, yeah, that's humid, but not as humid as what we're used to seeing around this time of year. Talk about that a little bit later. But yesterday we saw a high of 93. The average high for this time of year is 92. So, yeah, just a degree above average. And that record, though, was set back in 1954. 104 degrees. Not quite that warm yet, but we could be by this weekend. Temperatures right now across the board in the mid to upper 80s. 88 in Macon, 88 in Dublin, 87 in Wrightsville, 86 in Milledgeville, and dew point temperatures are in the 60s. Again, these are typically in the 70s, if not the extreme lower 80s around this time of year. But when you factor in the humidity, the dew points, we're talking about the weight of the atmosphere. And that weight plus the heat makes it feel a whole lot warmer than it actually is. 89 now is what it feels like in Macon, 92 in Unadilla, and this increases exponentially as we get warmer and warmer. So not as warm as what we could be, but definitely hot outside. Lots of sunshine as we head towards the afternoon and the evening, which means it's just going to get on warmer highs in the mid 90s and the radar right now is looking clear. No rain or moisture really in sight. Some clouds out there in Mississippi, but Georgia is looking crystal clear as you saw on the sky camera and starting now headed into the next couple of days. We're going to be dry. Haven't said that in quite some time over the past what, few weeks. We've just seen rain after rain, storm after storm. But Wednesday and Thursday, I'm telling you right now, so far, these models are saying we're not going to see any rain. Now, it looks like we could see some rain the Thursday evening. That model just changed. But most of the rain will be Friday. I did put a 10% chance for Thursday. But Friday, it looks like some of these showers could move on in. This is 7 p.m. Showers to our west. And then as we head into midnight, we start to clear on out. Now, as we head from Saturday into majority of next week, we do have some pretty hefty or also healthy rain chances as we head into this summertime pattern. This is now Sunday. You can see a wave moving on through. We have a cold front coming through, and that's Sunday around 5 p.m. And as we head into Monday, similar situations, a wave moves in from the north, and then Tuesday, not as high rain chances, but that might change as we head into the next couple of days. But highs today in the mid-90s, 95 high UV index, so make sure you stay protected and also stay hydrated. I'm going to say that again. Stay hydrated, guys. 69 is a low, a nice summer night, clear skies, and as we head into tomorrow, a high of 98 degrees. The next seven days are looking pretty warm. Highs in the 90s, 102 potentially by Saturday of this weekend. Oh, it just hurts.